Hi, good morning. This is Dr. Ayub. Um, I am a program director in New York Medical Cadet Training Center. I have been working as a teacher in ultrasonography since 2005. And I worked in Sanford Brown Institute in Garden City for eight years. Now I'm working in New York Medical Career Training Center in Manhattan. <coughs> so today I will give you the basic informations about the understanding of ultrasound and its uses in healthcare field. The purpose of this giving this lecture is that I realize that those who are sonographer who are graduating as a sonographer in this uh, world actually they need to know a lot of the basic foundation of understanding of how this machine works and as you know that ultrasonography it is a part of the imaging and it is incorporated in the radiology department and everybody may understand that radiology means is radiation but the good thing is that that ultrasonography is not a radiation it's a radiation free but it is an energy but it is ultrasonic waves energy and it creates the reflection strong reflections they produce images images means picture informations but it does not cause any harm on the bio tissue within the certain limitation because we have a very good guidelines given by AIUM in order to prevent the bio effect and it is a radiation free that's a big part big advantage and a person can have repeatedly scan with the ultrasound if it is indicated but without any radiation hazards a thorough understanding of the machine and its component parts and how you're going to be able to run the machine and uh, operate the machines to create the quality image. The importance of understanding the machine and the total mechanisms of the procedures, how to create the quality images or you can say diagnostic images because our program is diagnostic medical sonography. So diagnostic medical sonography means that you will create something, you will create some images, some pictures. Those will have some diagnostic values, diagnostic information so that the patients when they come to the doctor's office in the hospital, they want to be diagnosed earlier and quicker so that they can get the quick treatment and easy and early recovery and they can resume their job to earn money for their houses, for their homes, for their families. So in that way, ultrasound role is a very good impact in uh, giving the proper health care in this field and uh, making a good effort to everybody with a cheaper, cost-effective, easy, portable and radiation-free. What are those advantages? It's a quick, cheaper, portable, and repeatable, and radiation-free. So all those are the advantages, and so that field of ultrasound is very, very, um, uh, you can say, juicy and saturated, uh, because the, a lot of people are changing careers to get these ultrasonography courses and making the good uh, effort and good money for their families and they are established. I already um, graduated almost 700 sonographers in the New York state and all of my graduates are working all over the country but mostly it is in the five boroughs in Manhattan, yeah, New York City and uh, they are uh, very happy. I got a lot of uh, phone calls and texted and they said uh, they appreciate me all the time and moreover all my videos are uploaded in the YouTube the purpose of uploading into the YouTube is that I want to make a new generation that they know actually 
how to operate the machine and on basic understanding of ultrasonography and uh, how to describe the pathology how to get the best images so that quick diagnosis is possible i am trying my best to give my efforts towards my students so that they could be the best of the best sonographer um, in the usa uh, or you can say all over the world to know how to create the best of the best sonographic images and um, another thing is that uh, I also create a um, personal website and I put some videos over there so that in future so that um, students can have a membership and uh, they can be watching the videos for whole life and years after years and in generation after generation the sonographers can enhance their understanding and their experience and they would be better off in this field okay let's start with the basic understanding of the ultrasound and its uses in the healthcare field so to understand the machine and ultrasound we have to understand a couple of things first that an ultrasound machine has couple of component parts and the importance of understanding of those component parts is very important as you know that ultrasound is an energy and what kind of energy it is it is a mechanical energy and it runs longitudinally so it is a mechanical and longitudinal waves sound is a waves right is a type of waves and sound cannot travel in vacuum what does it mean it means that light can travel through vacuum when there is no media but the sound cannot travel through vacuum it needs a media so now um, what is the medium air is the medium too our soft tissue our body is a medium too so anything any object is a medium so sound needs a medium to travel through it and um, the sound is a radiation free and sound travels in longitudinal and sound is an energy and that push the media through which it is traveling is push during compression phase and during rarefaction it relaxes the medium so push and relax push and relax so in which there are a couple of variables generates generates what are those variables the generators due to push and back push and back through the medium and this push is known as compression and the back is known as rare friction so when this push and back happens the wave generates in the medium and the sound travels straight but the waves generates in the medium if you look at the ocean what you see if you look at the water what do you see when there is a waves waves comes up and down up and down up and down some waves are bigger some waves are smaller and some waves you probably notice that if it comes from the opposite side the waves gets interferes and it vanishes ultrasonography can have that conditions too so now this waves generation is not unique for each and every organs or each and every component parts of the tissue in our body so this waves creates depends on the nature of the medium if the mediums are different example our body has skin underneath the skin there's a superficial fascia or fat some area has a big chunk of fat then muscles the bones blood other fluids so when the sound travels through different 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 media the waves are different too the compression is different too the rare frictions are different too and the propagation speed of the sound through the different different media that i mentioned will be different too 
So now, sound when travels through the tissue, through the medium, for each and every component parts of our body or any media, there is a boundary. And even eventually, the boundary could be in between the cells, in between the tissue types too. So when the sound is traveling straight and it gets reflected back, and that reflection is passing through the tissue too. And when that reflection is returning through the tissue, it gets in its memory with that what did I see inside the tissue. And those informations are called echo, we call reflection, and all those reflection is returning and is received by the transducers and this transducer will send the reflection back into the receiver and the receiver will send it back after the five processes five processes what are those processes happen amplifications compensation compression demodulation and rejection again amplifications compensation compression demodulation and rejections among this among these five functions only demodulation is controlled by the machine and rest of all others is controlled by the sonographers and hey sonographers you need to know those four functions really better because you can fix a poor quality image into better quality and that would be the diagnostic images and these informations will go into the stories and the stories will have couple of functions stories will have scan converters stories will have computer memory memory digital memory and you need to know a little about the computer you have to understand the quality of the image that could be stored. It is good for us or bad for us. You can fix it before display or after display. We call it pre-processing, post-processing. And we can zoom it. That zoom or magnifications are two types. There are right magnifications and the read magnifications. What does it mean? I want to improve, I want to see the picture enlarge without losing any picture informations. The picture quality even could be better. So that has a different operation than only simple zooming. What is simple zooming? Just enlargement of the picture without caring about the picture quality because I want to do something else I don't need the picture quality in this magnifications maybe measurements okay so sometimes some machines they can do perform uh, both pre processing post processing uh, there are some buttons you can do that some machines they you will see there's a button known as RES that is also right magnifications so right magnification is better than read magnification but also it depends on the what I want to do that is the purpose okay so let let me give you the couple of uh, drawings so in order to make you better understanding that how actually the ultrasonography machines are working okay <clears throat> so now you have to understand that there's a button called master synchronizer Master synchronizer is the mastermind. Master synchronizer is the main controlling uh, structures and this master synchronizer just you can consider as a brain of our body. This master synchronizer oversee all the component parts. So now this master synchronizer will give the signal to the pulser. 
pulsar. So this is a pulsar who actually sends the pulse. Who sends the pulse? So master synchronizer controls three things. What are those things? Amplification. And this amplification is the output. Output power. Okay, this is output power. What else? P, R, P and P, R, F. Pulse repetition period and pulse repetition frequency. Pulse repetition period is the interval between the beginning of a one pulse to the beginning of the second pulse. It is the time. And PRP is the pulse repetition frequency. It is the number of pulses in one second. Those are sent out by the transducer. Okay, so these are the three functions of the pulsar. And the, from the pulsar, the signal goes into the transducer. So this is a transducer. So this is a transducer. So this is a transducer. Tx is a transducer. So transducer, I just drew the head of the transducer. Transducer function both way. One is transmission. And another is reflection. It receives reflections. Okay? So this is medium. So this is medium. So transducer is sending the sound wave through the medium. And the medium has interfaces or boundaries. From each and every boundaries the reflection is returning. Reflection is returning and this reflection is the image information. If there is no image reflection, there is no image formation period. Let me give you the example. If somebody wants to take a picture, photo, in the daylight, they don't need to have the auto flash light. In the dark, they might have an auto flash light. If there is no auto flash light, can you take a picture in the dark? Say, we'll say no. Why? Because the photo or image or picture that depends on the reflection of light. If there is no reflection of light received by the camera, there will be no photography. There will be no picture. The same as if no reflection is returning from the medium, there will be no picture. And we have to understand that there are some weak reflectors in our body. There are some strong reflectors in our body. There are some medium strength reflectors in our body. Example, a liquid in our body, like a blood, like urine, the bile, and any collection of fluid in our body. So what happened? When the sound travels through it, it is so poor reflector or weak reflector, it does not produce any substantial amount of reflection that can create the picture, that can create, that can carry the image information. That's why we see no image, no reflection, no image, and we call it anechoic or sonolucent. But if there are some strong reflectors, example, bones, stones, and uh, muscle sheath, walls of the blood vessels and any other like a di diaphragm you saw that all those are strong reflectors 
and they produce strong reflections and in the image we see strong echogenic or hyper echoic uh, images so, okay so that is very important to understand that some of the medium also example the muscles so muscles are the medium level reflector that's why the reflection comes from them it is not very brighter not very darker it's a medium level example another example liver spleen you noticed it they are darker why they are darker it's not darker it's a hypo echoic not very brighter not very darker and another example i'm telling you if you look at the kidney what you see inside the kidney you know the kidney anatomy kidney cortex is darker than the kidney sinus why because it depends on the tissue character tissues are different in the cortex and tissues are different in the sinus so cortex is full of nephron and the nephron has a lot of tubules inside and the tubules contains liquid that's why we see the weak reflection from the cortex and we see the darker area but in the sinus the sinus is mixed i mean the build in with the collecting system minor calyx major calyx renal pelvis and it has a lot of fat lymphatics blood vessels so those are echogenic their walls are echogenic that's why we see brighter echo inside the kidney so those understanding is very important because is the foundation or basic understanding you have to correlate of your sono images the is it coming from that organ does it look like that i know the kidney looks like kidney has this this structures and i see the kidney is having this this mixed echogenicities is it true what i am looking at yes it is true because you know the anatomy and keep that in mind the sonographers are the best anatomists in the world if sonographers doesn't know the anatomy you are just throwing a ball in the dark you are not going to see anything i'm telling you okay so now from the transducer uh, the reflection that is received by the transducer that is returning on to the receiver the receiver what is the receiver receiver is nothing but the computer it is the computer the hard drive inside so receiver is receive the information in the form of analog what is analog form without any change the way the transducer receive the reflections and this reflection ranges from small signals small power signals to the high power signals all those reflections without any change received by the receiver and the receiver has five functions what are those five functions amplifications make sure you know that this amplifications and pulsars amplifications are two different types pulsar amplification related with the output power and this amplifications receiver amplifications is considered as a 2d gain 2d gain or we can say the overall gain overall gain make sure you know that 2d gain and overall gain buttons controls the received amplification what does it mean received amplification means all the reflection those came in into the body already i mean into the machine already that am reflections are amplified and that is not inside the human body so if i amplify it so then there is no chance of bio effect there is no chance of increase the temperature increase the energy inside the human body so it is 
no chance of bio effect but this amplification output power amplifications is associated with bio effect so you have to be very careful that this amplifications power output must be under the limit what is the limit usually 1.2 the mechanical index is 1.2 AIUM gave us the guideline usually we keep it less than 1 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 beautiful so there is no chance of bio effect but this amplifications you can amplify I'm telling you up to 10 billion times Ten billion times you can amplify. Okay, so sixty dB to hundred dB you can amplify. So amplifications and then compensation. This compensation. So amplification is controlled by the sonographer. This compensation is controlled by the sonographers too. So this compensation you can to by TGC and also by overall gain 